So if you've been using for uh, the early build of Forge, you're going to realize that foraging with a keyboard or mouse sucks ass. It's really difficult to like move things. Scaling stuff is a nightmare. Like you try to scale stuff, it doesn't like scale consistently. Like you see, I'm still dragging and it's like going backwards. It's not great. And another thing is positioning stuff is even worse because sometimes you'll like try to move it upwards and you'll be aiming at it here and you'll sometimes in some angles, it will grab both axes. So like if I come here and I'm like, clearly my mouse is over a little more like this. Clearly my mouse is over the blue one, except it lets me move on the Y, the, the yellow the Y axis as well. It's frustrating. It doesn't work. There is a fix and it is beautiful and it is perfect and it is dumb, stupid, easy to do. And it fixes everything. So on controller, there is this ability to select an object and move your camera with the object. And it looks like this. So if you select an object on a controller and hit uh, left trigger and then, you know, move the joystick, you actually move the object in a way that makes sense. Like it's, it's not scuffed. You can emulate this exact thing on a control on a keyboard very simply which you're actually watching me do i am not using a controller to do this input even though the keys on the left say i am so um the solution is this program let me bring it up called key to joy this this let let g dude an absolute god made this program called key to joy which is the inverse of this popular joy to key for mapping controller buttons to keyboard presses, but it's, it's amazing. It's really simple to use. All you got to do is go to the uh, GitHub, go to the releases here and download the most recent one and extract this file to a folder somewhere. I've already done that here. All you need to do is you need to run. Let me close my window here so that, uh, Uh, let me make sure that this fully closes and I'll show you how to set it up. It's stupid easy. So all you need to do is when you download it and extract it is open this joy to key.exe. It's going to, well, this isn't the right file. This is the, this is the zip folder. Uh, this is the right one. So all you need to do is run this joy to key.exe and it's going to ask you to install something. You want to make sure you do what it, you want to make sure you install what it tells you to. It's the driver to emulate the controller. So you want to install it. So when you run it, you're eventually going to get to a window where there's a bunch of different actions here on the screen. So all I did was selected them all, like click and drag like this, and then hit the delete key and deleted them all. So now we have an empty profile. All we need to do, all we need to do is um, to make our keyboard presses emulate controller presses is come down here and create a new mapping. We want to uh, we want to choose what key we want to choose what actually starts the action. So a keyboard event we want to be able to press a keyboard. So in my case, I'm going to use caps lock because I don't think caps lock is actually used for anything in Forge. So you press caps lock, and we want to make it only press. And you'll you'll understand why. If we don't, then it will try to do this. It will try to do this constantly. We basically want to have it to be a toggle so that when we hold the button down, we can, we're, we are moving like a controller, but when we let go, we're not. So we set it to press. Just, if that doesn't make sense, just do exactly what I'm showing you. And it will, if you play with it, it won't make sense. And then for the actions that start the trigger, go to gamepad slash controller simulation and choose left trigger. And then also make this one press, save it, make another mapping. So go keyboard event, do the same key that you chose the first time, in my case, caps lock, and then do the opposite, do release, and then do the same thing with the gamepad slash controller simulation and go left trigger release. Save it and you're done, except that you got to click the enable mappings here in the top right. So click enable mappings and then go back into the forge mode. And when you press your hotkey, um, caps lock, you're going to notice that you're actually able to hold that hotkey and move item, move your objects with the WASD keys like you're on a controller. So all I'm doing here, if you could see my uh, key presses, I'm, I'm going to select an object 
I'm going to hold caps lock or the hot key you defined, and now I'm pressing the W key, and it's going forward. I'm going to press the S key. It's going backwards. Pressing the A, it goes left. Pressing the D, it goes right. And then when I let go of caps lock, it thinks I'm. It still thinks I'm in a controller on the left, but I'm not. I can move around like my mouse, like you know, like normal. And to show you that I'm not just faking it, I'm going to hold caps lock here, and I right now I'm moving my mouse, and I can move my mouse freely like I'm, you know, like I normally can, and like move around like I'm on a, you know, actually using a mouse instead of a joystick. So I hit W, you know, to prove it, like I'm hitting W, moving it. It's beautiful. It solves so many problems for keyboard, mouse, and forge that this might honestly be the best way to forge. It fixes so many problems.